I got it figured out yet? I think there's still some oil in it. Oh yeah, it's slashy. It's got a little ATF. So this is a torque converter out of something that we'll tell you later on. That's the T-Max 2420. 8325. We want to figure out how exactly these things work and the best way we know how to do that is... By making it never work again. does it it's heavy it's anyway. full of water it's like Careful. hanging on by a thread oh no. those are some pretty thick threads dan oh you can bend them though oh, i'm so strong that's working uh oh spider bearings is that what that is that's yeah there's so many things in here that are going to come out yes thank you mitchell <laughs> This now has the record for the longest cut item on our channel. The previous record was the rifle at about 45 minutes, and this took whatever we set on the screen, like an hour and something. It's coming, it's coming. Oh! It's the clutch plate we didn't cut through. Now look who's not strong. <laughs> I use science to get do it. <laughs> to get do it. I'm as strong as science. Let's hose it off. That is medium complex. Now let's hose this piece off. This one's got all the loose bits in it, so we should be able to hose this one out without losing anything. Tilt it forward. Yeah, there you go. So we've got it all cleaned up. Moving somewhat freely, we were able to rotate it. And now, it all makes sense now. Yeah. Right? Obviously, something happens on this side, and then something else happens on this side, and then car goes vroom. Torque converters. Yep, car goes vroom right after that. That sounds like something stupid I would say. How does it actually work, Anthony? <laughs> I don't know. So this part right here, and the other half of it, wherever it went, which is right there, um, would be bolted to what they call a flex plate on a motor. So instead of having a flywheel on a manual transmission, this part's gonna bolt to a flex plate. So essentially the flex plate's connected to the crankshaft and it's gonna rotate this entire casing. Don't worry about any of this inside stuff right now. It's gonna rotate this part. The entire casing. So on the inside, I don't know if we can see it or not. Inside of here, there's splines. And those splines, just take my word for it, they're in there. Yeah, they're, they're in there, there's about a few, and they're all in there. And those splines are rotated by all the equipment inside of the torque converter, which is all this stuff right here. All three of those plates. So this one here, the biggest piece that you can kind of, well, I guess you can't see the springs on this side, but you see the springs side. right in there. So essentially that's gonna be a, the equivalent of a clutch disc. This is gonna be the shock absorber for when things are actually trying to rotate. So once this completes its torque, I guess it's like a torque cycle or whatever you want to call it, it engages completely to the transmission, i.e. driving it. So this is gonna be all the dampening mechanism and everything. And I know I'm giving a terrible description of what all these parts do <laughs> because this thing is wild looking on the inside. There's actually a lot going on. Essentially, engine spins the entire housing the housing has these fans, these fin blades connected to it. Better than this side. Yeah, so that there's that turbine fan that's built into the casing and that's spinning around. This entire thing is filled with ATF fluid. Yep, automatic transmission fluid. And so when that spins around, it kind of pushes the fluid into the other turbine 
which that turbine is then connected to the output shaft. And they're spinning in opposite directions. So these blades are going this way and these blades are going the opposite direction of that. Yeah. And so essentially with an automatic transmission, there is never a mechanical connection from the engine to the wheels, right? Uh, yeah, basically it just rotates. The fluid is rotating between these two that are spinning the shaft inside of here. So all power that your engine is delivering is delivered to the wheels through automatic transmission fluid. Yeah, essentially the the torque generated by yeah. the fluid rotating rapidly. Earlier, I did not know what this came off of. What is this off of? Uh, this is actually would have been off of a 4L60E, a GM transmission. This is one that we opted not to use. This is a factory unit that isn't going to be strong enough for our snowcat project. Snowcat project? Snowcat project. Snowcat project? A snowcat like this. Snowcat project. Two weeks ago, I think it was two weeks ago, we talked about maybe starting a car channel with this red bearded Me. man. Me. We have actually made that channel and we started it a week ago and we have three videos posted there now, ready for viewing. We were sneaky. We went sneaky and posted three videos without telling anyone. <laughs> that, have, so, that have no views. Yeah, just so you guys could <laughs> How's binge that? watch it yeah yeah that's what we were yeah. going for we just wanted to give you a little bit more content before we let you know so if a car channel is something that would interest you or just crazy garage builds involving motors and wheels um go on over there and check it out subscribe so go check that out we'll have a link to that first video down in the description there'll also be a link to it in the end card if you wait until then and uh yeah that's torque converters Ta-da! torque converters what this are you is... doing? I don't want to tell you. <laughs> I dared him to lick the dirt. Put the camera away. <laughs> <laughs>